I was very competitive. After winning? Absolutely. I was always, always wanted to win and everything. I actually didn't stop, you know, like being as competitive until I got older, you know, you start having more fun and stuff like that. But when it comes to mixed martial arts and stuff, I'm very competitive. The first, the first time I ever saw, uh, actually I think it was a UFC fight, it was the bloodiest thing I ever saw. And I was actually in my grandparents' house, we were just going through the channels, and I just stopped. And honestly, I thought to myself, I was like, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. I was like, who would do that? You know, and then five years later, I ended up doing it. You know what I mean? So I was really, when I first saw it, I was really shocked that people would do that. Honestly, I never really, I never really pursued mixed martial arts in a way. It was, it, the way I feel is, you know, it was, it was kind of, I just left it in God's hands, you know, everything that I was going on at school and stuff, I started getting some trouble, almost started getting some fights and stuff like that. And I, one day I told my dad, I was like, I need, to learn, I need to learn how to defend myself. And my dad's like, oh, I know this guy, his name's Lionel Lanham. Um, he's like, he does this MMA stuff. And I didn't know what MMA was, none of that. I was like, okay, because I, I, the only thing I heard of, you know, and that was popular was boxing. So I was like, I need to learn how to box, whatever, and, you know. He knew Lionel, the next day he introduced, actually that night, when he told me that he ran into, into Lionel at Walmart. So I was like, yeah, it's meant to be, you know what I mean? I, you know, I have a feeling like this is, this is where I need to be. And the next day I came, never stopped training ever since. I liked more of the sport uh, part of it. You know, you, you see fighting, you think it's like all about, you know, being mad at someone or you, you're, you know, mad or just it, anything that has to do with like just negativity. But like actually coming to here, enjoying each other, uh, beating each other up with a smile on your face and just learning, getting better. That's what made me lo love, actually love it more than, than actually any other sport that I've ever participated in. So they're starting to offer fights and I was like, you know, I was like, I want to try this. And when, you know, he actually told me no about two or three times, but I would just, I'd bug him, bug him. I was like, I want to fight, I want to fight. And finally he put me in and I, I knew I shocked, I shocked him. You know, I, I won my first kickboxing match in 10 seconds. Uh, just uh, I broke the I kicked the guy in the in the body and I broke his rib. They called it right then and there, and you know I was so happy. I was I was hooked right there. So I was like I gotta start fighting. It, I I honestly think kickboxing is more more of a brutal um, I guess combat sport. You know it's constantly just like you know hitting each other. I mean you can do an MMA fight, take someone down, choke them out, and without even taking damage. But in kickboxing, I mean you're bound to get hit, bound to get kicked. And I like that part of that challenge, so I know that prepared me as far as mentally going to MMA. It drives me more not to lose because I have my family there. You know what I mean? I don't want to disappoint any of them and stuff like that, you know? And the way, it, the reason why I fight is like God's put me in a position to where, you know, I didn't even know I had a talent, but He showed it to me. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm here. That's why that's what I'm here to do. And I can, I can show the world what I do without even having to say a word. I can go out there and perform. And just, you know, thank God for, for you know, blessing me. You, you put in the work to make sure you have that confidence in the cage. You know, so when I'm in the cage, you know, it's a switch. As soon as, you, as, soon as I hit that switch, you know, I'm, I'm actually, I like to say I'm a nice guy, like outside of the, the gym or even in training, you know, I get along with everybody. But when I'm in that cage, it's either me or you. It's definitely, you know, and I'm not going to be on the losing side of it. You know what I mean? I, you always have to have that confidence in yourself that you're going to be able to go out there, perform, do well, and take, get the W. Honestly, I just you go on getting beat up every day, and then you start competing and training with these guys that are at these high levels. You know, like, I, like every Sunday we have circles in here. You have people like Diego Brandao, Diego Sanchez, all these guys that are in uh, big shows. And you've seen, you can hang with them. Like, you can compete with them, and that's what gives you confidence. Even if you're not up that level yet, you're, you're still in with these guys and you're, you're hanging with these guys at a high level. You know, so when you go out there, you have constant like, man, I train with these guys, you know, and, they, and also, I mean, all the hard work that you put in, I mean, I train three or four times a day, and I, you know, in the back of my mind, I always think of my opponent, like, is he training harder than me? You know, is he running, is he running seven heels? I'm gonna run eight. You know, that's always kind of always in my head, so I always try to push myself. And just staying positive, you know, and like I said, I'm, I'm blessed, you know, I, I don't have nothing to worry about, you know, I'm, that's where also I get my confidence from. I'm going to be a top contender and eventually a champion. You know, running and all this stuff, it's, it sucks while you're doing it, you know what I mean, it's never fun. But, you know, when you're in that cage, that's when that fun comes out. You're going in there, you're showing the world what you can do, you know, and, and it's not just like, you know, it could be, it could be a few people, it could be a hundred, you know, hundreds of thousands of people, it doesn't really matter. But, I mean... There, there's no feeling like it, you know, you go out there and you shine, you know, it's, it's awesome. One thing that I always keep first is, you know, God, He's always been in my life. I was born dead, I shouldn't be here, 
So that's the reason why I'm so thankful is because, you know, he gave me an opportunity to come out here and, and perform in front of people and do things. Like when I was growing up, I knew it wasn't meant to be just a person disclosed and does an eight to five job. You know what I mean? Like I wanted to be something a little bit different. I'm not saying I'm better or worse, but I want to be something different. You know, so I make sure that I can follow my dreams. And, you know, if I don't, well, you know what? I gave it a shot, you know, but, you know, I don't see it being that way. You know, I want to make sure that I can achieve my goals, follow a dream that, you know, and, and lead an example too. You know, it's not all about me. Actually, it's not really at all about me. You know what I mean? A good man, you know, he just he goes out there. He, he cares, you know, caring is, is probably the most important thing. You know, in a way, sometimes you may not always be able to, but try to go out of your way for somebody. Um, you know, someone that has good morals, someone that, that can, you know, help you in a situation where you need advice. You know, someone that's there, if you break down on the side of the road and, you know, even though he lives 10 miles away, you know what, you, you, you go and help them.